Hey everybody, Patton here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use external storage with your mini system. A quick recap on how to mod your mini to get this working. Plug your cable into your mini and into the PC. Go to the kernel tab. Install repair. It'll ask if you want to flash the custom kernel. Click yes. At this point, you're going to hold reset on your mini and power on. And then HackG will do the rest. If you need more detailed instructions on how to mod your mini, I will have the tutorial in my description below. The minis don't come with very much space on board. The most may be around 300 megabytes and that's before you start adding cores. So to get around that we can use a USB flash drive or USB card reader to add some more storage. You just have to remember the drive letter that you're going to use for your flash drive. Owners of the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive minis have a little bit of advantage here because you can simply use the second controller port for your flash drive. Owners of the Super Nintendo or Nintendo Minis unfortunately do not have those options. And that's where this device comes in. This is called an OTG adapter. It plugs directly into the power input of your Mini. And even though you can use the second controller port on the Genesis Mini, you can use one of these if you don't want to take that controller spot up. This specific model we call the Octopus adapter. If we take a closer look, you can see that we have three USB spots and a micro USB port. I personally prefer this adapter to the other ones simply because not only can you use one of these USB ports for storage, you can use the other two for something like a Wi-Fi adapter or a Bluetooth adapter. The downside to this model is that the wires in these legs are extremely fragile. You have to be careful with them, but me personally, I've had this one for about five years now. I have not had any problems with it. I take good care of my adapter. So this is how this works. You're gonna take your power cord you're going to plug it into the input on the adapter you're going to take the other end of the adapter plug that into the mini then you insert your usb drive with your roms into one of the usb slots so here's what it looks like in the end the power cord going into the adapter the flash drive going into the adapter, the adapter going into the mini. To put your ROMs onto the flash drive works just like you would if you were synchronizing the games directly to the mini. Instead of hitting the synchronize button, you would hit export to USB. Then select the drive letter where your flash drive is. Then click OK. Once that's complete, this window will pop up with a folder with three zeros when you go in there, you'll have the individual folders for each game. When using this method, you don't have to plug your mini into the PC. You only have to use your flash drive. Also, when you have your flash drive connected to your mini, it will not read anything that you have synchronized directly to that system. So what I recommend is install your cores to your mini itself, then put all your games on a flash drive and export to USB. Remember, if you need any help, you can go to this help tab up here you can join the Rockin' the Classics Discord server or subreddit for any questions that you have. And that's it for me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.